welcome back to my channel. I got this hair sent by Supernova Hair and we're about to get into this wig child. So the bag came in a silk purple bag. The only thing that was in the packaging was the wig and the wig cap. This wig is a 5x5 five five wig. It comes with two combs near the ears and one comb in the back and also an adjustable strap to adjust it to your head size. The lace is a transparent lace, but it seemed to match with my skin tone pretty well. I can make it work. This hair was so full, like I couldn't even stop running my fingers through this hair because I was so shocked how full it was. So I grabbed a brush to start brushing it out to see if I would experience any shedding. I was brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing and I did not get no shedding y'all. Now let's bleach these knots, girl. I will be bleaching my knots with a quick blue L'Oreal bleaching powder as long with the Dirty Developer by L'Oreal too. So when bleaching your knots, you want to make sure that the mixture is not runny. You want it to be like an icing type of consistency, but not runny. Because if it's runny, it's going to run through your um, lace and it's going to bleach the hair and you don't want that. Because you're going to end up with bleach roots. You want to keep adding the right amount of developer and the right amount of bleach until you get the right consistency for bleaching your knots. As you can see here, this is not the consistency you want. It's runny. Whenever I lift up my brush, it's dropping onto the bowl. And that lets you know that you got to keep adding more bleach. Perfect. This is the consistency you want. It's not dropping off the brush. That's how you know it's ready. Before I bleach the knots, I like to take a spray bottle and spray the front of the hair. This protects the front of the hair from getting bleached and also helps me push the hair back. Now let's bleach these knots. I like to work my way from the back to the front so I won't over bleach the front hairline. All done, I leave the bleach on my knots for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I wash it out. As you can see, you don't really see the knots and it's giving scalpiana. I'm parting the very front of the lace so I can start my plucking process. See, I'm not the greatest at plucking, but it's something that I'm still learning. But from my knowledge, you don't wanna pluck too little and you don't wanna pluck too much. Make sure that you do not pluck in the same area because if you do, you're going to get a ball spot. So make sure that you're just moving your tweezers back and forth. Also, something else that I do that helps is I'll pluck one section, part it, pluck another section and part it. And you will see a gradual effect. I'm thinning out the very fronts of the hair. These hairs are what you would call baby hair. So we're just gonna thin these out. We officially done plucking y'all. Going to be drying this wig with this new mannequin head dryer. I came across this from Amazon. I was like, ooh, I gotta buy that. So I brought it and this is my first time using it. It comes with these clips where you put the clips on and I guess the other end is supposed to hold on your blow dryer. As you can see here, I tried to go in with my blue hand dryer and realized that it was not fitting for nothing. And I was getting a little frustrated because I'm like, Ugh. I know I didn't buy this just for it to not work. So I was like getting frustrated, getting frustrated. I'm like, this not working. Luckily, I had another blow dryer that had a smaller nozzle and that worked perfect. It fit in right. I clipped it up and I just let my hair dry the whole time. This is how the hair looking after 45 minutes of drying. I dried the top of the wig fine, but it did not dry the ends. So that was the only issue with this mannequin head. If you have longer hair, keep in mind that it's not going to dry the ends as well. So you have to go back in and dry the ends. I wasn't really mad about that because it didn't really take that long for me to dry the ends anyway. I would really prefer to dry the ends than trying to dry a whole wig. 
overall i love the mannequin head dryer it helped me out a lot and if you guys would like to purchase this item for yourself the link will be in the description box below so i'm just detangling the hair before i straighten it i part the hair into sections comb it out and go in with my straightener I had straightened the majority of the hair off camera and we had this one last section to straighten. Now going in with this edge stick booster, I'm gonna be applying it all over the top of my hair and onto the edges so I could go in with my hot comb and flatten the top out. I wanted to add some layers to the front of my hair so I went in with a razor comb and just started cutting down and added some layers I don't really know what I'm doing um, I guess I'm just trying to make some layers <laughs> We are all done. I did record me putting this wig on my head, but I lost the footage. So the next clip is just gonna be me with the wig already on, straining my hair. This hair is so bomb, like, this hair is extremely soft. Like, what? And can we just talk about the fullness? Can we talk about the fullness? Supernova hair, I give this hair a thumbs up. Like, everything about this hair is flawless, to the color, to the fullness. Like, can we get into the lace? Stop playing with her, cause she's not one of them. Hair is overall good. I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror, too. Oh, it's just good like I would really buy this hair again and not only that I'm gonna buy more hair from you. <laughs> if you love this video please give a video a thumbs up comment down below your thoughts on this hair and subscribe for more videos like this